Thank you very much for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about the new 1099 processing for forms 1099 and 1099-NEC for non-employee compensation. So as you may know, there have been changes to the 2020 1099 forms. First of all, there's a new form called 1099-NEC for non-employee compensation. But this also has required box changes from the 1099 miscellaneous form. Basically, the information that has been in box seven in the miscellaneous form in prior years will now need to be in box one of the new NEC form. SAGE has already taken care of this for you by adding the new form and adding the new boxes to capture this information. However, you do have to be on a supported version of SAGE 100, which as of now include version 2020, version 2019, and version 2018. But in addition to that, you need to have a current enough product update installed for this information to be available. For version 2018, that's product update nine, for version 2019 is product update three, and then any version of 2020 has this functionality. Let's take a look on how you can determine your Sage 100 version. So here I am back in Sage 100, and we're going to take a look on how to see what version of Sage 100 it is that you are running. So on the main menu here, I'm just gonna click on the help menu, and then click about Sage 100 and I get a pop-up window that tells me the version number. So as you can see here, I'm running version 2020, which is also known as version 6.20, and then a period, and then after that is the product update. So in my case, I have product update one. So I'm running version 2020, product update one. If I were running version 2019, product update three, this would say version 6.10, Point three. If I was running version 2018, product update nine, this would say 6.00.9. So that third segment of this number indicates the product update. So you wanna make sure that you're on the appropriate product update. The good news is if you're running versions 2018 or 2019 and you're not at a current enough product update, this is a minor installation and process to upgrade. This is not a full upgrade where you're changing versions that you may have gone through in the past. Sage tends to release these product updates quarterly. They tend to have bug fixes in them as well as sometimes this kind of new functionality that's required. In addition to making the boxes available, there's also a utility that's being provided. This utility will move the data from the miscellaneous box seven to the NEC box one, in addition to make some other changes to the box information. Now you can manually do this if you choose to do so. Each of the boxes data is editable and you can copy from box seven for the miscellaneous form to box one for the NEC form and paste if that's what you want to do. But you can also run this utility which will automatically take care of this for you. You would need to run this utility for each company. It's specific to the company and once it's been run for a company it cannot be run again. So you want to make sure that you do this at the appropriate time. So now let's take a look in Sage 100 how this is going to look for you. So back in Sage 100, let's take a look at where the new boxes are. So I'm going to go into Accounts Payable, Vendor Maintenance, and call up this vendor and go to the 1099 information. So as you can see here, I've defined the vendor as a business and if I do a drop down for the default forms, you can see I now have the non-employee compensation form available, which in turn allows me to define a default box for that form. Also, if I go to 1099 history, I can choose the form and again, just edit or evaluate the numbers that are in each of the boxes while I'm here. 
So as you can see for this vendor, I've got information in the miscellaneous box one. Also, when you go to print your 1099s, and for those of you who haven't been through 1099 printing in Sage 100 for quite some time now, the 1099s are actually printed using an integrated program called Atrix. And so you're gonna see a screen similar to this. So this screen will now pop up and when it asks for the form type, you also will have the option to choose non-employee compensation and the capability of putting in the minimum amount for that particular form. So to recap, you have to be at the correct version of Sage 100 to be able to have access to these boxes to set up the boxes for the vendors and or set them up for the invoices to capture the information into the correct box. Or you can allow the information to be captured into box seven of the miscellaneous form and you can manually move the data to box one of the NEC form or you can run the utility that I talked about that would automatically move the data to the NEC form from the miscellaneous form. Thank you for joining us today. You can find us on LinkedIn at the group indicated there. Our website is www.nimsassociates.com where you can find information about upcoming sessions like this one. You're welcome to contact us at any time at erp at nimsassociates.com or call us at 877-454-3200, extension 6346. And we really appreciate you subscribing to this channel as well. Once again, thank you for your time today.